Hi everybody, it's Lisa here and I'm going to give you a little bit of a lesson that I have prepared for you um, on gesture in trees and other objects and um, some other things. I'm looking forward to us meeting on a Zoom meeting next week we will get to have a little time to look at the work we've done and maybe even a um a little bit of a demonstration and it would be good to see everyone i know these times are difficult and with that in mind i saw this beautiful picture of this woman with the sticks while i was looking for my gesture of trees images and it came with this poem or or reading my grandmother once gave me a tip. In difficult times, you move forward in small steps. Do what you have to do, but little by little. Don't think about the future or what may happen tomorrow. Wash the dishes, remove the dust, write a letter, make a soup. You see, you are advancing step by step. Take a step and stop. Rest a little, praise yourself. Take another step, then another. You won't notice, but your steps will grow more and more. And the time will come when you can think about the future without crying. And that is by Elena Mikhalkova. And this is actually a picture of an artist who, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of. Now I saw this on Facebook, but these are all these little sticks. It's actually the um, banner picture on my sister's page right now, but I had found it before then. And you can see all the little people in the, in the sticks, all their movements. I sometimes look at branches and think of dancers or people with hand gestures or, or um, wild hair, reaching fingers. Look in these trees and see how much you see of the gestures and the arms and the you know, you might not see a face, but you might see some wild hair where the um, wind is blowing over. One time I was driving along the side of the road where all these little sapling trees and um, the wind had blown them and they seemed to be running or screaming or reaching out. I know that sounds strange. But if you look at the arms as the branches as arms and the twigs like fingers or hair, you can kind of feel the, the uh, tree bending before the weather coming or reaching out across the road, reaching out and trying to shade someone who's walking even though they're stuck in the, in the ground. And if you're a person who can see that type of thing, can you see the big trees leaning together, shading everything, and their baby tree in the spotlight or the sunlight? The tree that's leaning into the water to get its feet wet or its roots, giving its roots a swim. And if you're a person who can see that, you might be a person who can paint that. Uh, these paintings are by, and some of the photographs by Kathleen Hauser and, um, if she can see the two trees leaning together in the winter storm and the ice in her photographs, uh, even more so to show those trees in the winter with the ice or in the summer with the shadow and the reaching limbs, reaching out in all directions. So I wanted you to explore if you can see these things, you can take a picture of it I would like you to draw it because I asked Kathleen if all of her branches are in that place and she said you never find just the right photo. If you do, take a picture of it, of course. But how fun to draw it and almost see a face in this tree with the knots and then this little tree out front like a mother and child almost picture or use your strokes to get a movement. There's kind of a wave motion to these, to these strokes that's fun. Um, or there's 
a way this this little tree is hanging on on this to the rock on the shoreline or you can use your imagination and just have your little bonsai floating up in the clouds which is a nice one and if you don't want to work in pencil uh this one is charcoal i had thought it was paint at first but this one is paint all these little tree amputees or even sculptural um this is a paper bag where you you cut the top into strips and you can twist them into the branches and if you can do it with trees you can find gesture in other things this one reminds me of the picasso rooster um this one you cannot see and this little um chopped up banana um you can see it lying and almost being um like a reclining figure almost. There are other ways you can use your strokes or other objects. This one reminded me of the still life with the violin. You can use your strokes to be the movement in a fan or, or skates. Um, you could draw with a continual line or draw the, the things you see superimposed. Or like I said before, you can do photography, especially if you're a person who has an eye for seeing things, seeing inanimate objects as having gesture, emotion, or using them to express our emotion. My brother-in-law, Michael McWaters, is quite a photographer and he does, he always can see the faces. I love this one with the eye looking down and he calls it a frown or these faces in the red roadblocks. This one says, he calls, find happiness everywhere. Of course, these guys are a little bit frowny or crinkly eyed, or almost a yin and yang um, positioning. And these guys are just screaming up at the sky, like some of us feel like doing right now. My mother wrote a poem I like to share, and it's about a maple tree in our neighborhood. When I was growing up, this tree would look far more magnificent than it does here, but this is the actual tree and the actual house. The tree is huge, and sometimes in the fall, it's so red and so huge, and uh, people would talk about it on the radio, and people would come out to paint it and photograph it. It's just this magnificent red maple by this house on Connecticut Avenue. And my mother wrote a poem to it called Her Glory, Her Folly. This year, like some trollop in red, parading all her glory, her folly, dazzling traffic towering over us, flaming color broadcast over the radio, calling the paparazzi, cameras, canvas, easels cluttering the sidewalk to catch the spectacle. One great shake of her limbs, she lets go those leaves like detritus and dress down so much dust kicking around her feet, the ancient body stiff, the stark arms become a wild, unremorseful gesture, no doubt a stance she takes for what she's given, winter coming. So with all that said, find a tree or any other object that strikes you as something you could draw gesturally to express emotion or see the human characteristics in this inanimate, I hate calling trees inanimate objects, but they are. And if you can find them in the forest of trees and isolate the figure that looks like it's dancing in an arabesque with the arms extended in the middle of this picture, well then you'll have no problem drawing a gestural drawing or a wonderful tree, or whatever object you see. So that's your job for this week, and I will see you all next week on Zoom. Thank you so much.